Hello players, Andy from Event Horizon Gaming here and in today's episode we have Treasures in the Deep ending alongside its 7 day sign-in rewards, right? We have Crowder Fusion actually approaching its later days and plus we have this weekend Crazy Invocation of Spirits, Crazy Divine Summoning, Surprise Invocation of Spirits and one of the best heroes in the game on a banner starting on Sunday. So everything in today's episode of Week reset. So firstly, as I talked before, we have the treasures in the deep event ending and that means that the seven day sign in rewards is also going to be ending. So don't forget to sign in if you haven't already and capture the last two rare summoning crystals that are going to give us for free. Also, don't forget to go into the treasures in the deep story mode, go to the challenge mode or whatever you left off and don't forget to use your daily five chances of getting the resource for the redeem shop so also do not forget to go into the redeem shop and go take the rewards that you want but i also have a priority for you guys so i think that you should definitely get the uh, Reeve exclusive right the anchor of the damned I think it's called uh, you should get that for sure uh, you should also get the ancient summoning shards then you should definitely go for the bastion ring because the bastion ring is an all-out good artifact for every defender sometimes you need to equip multiple defenders with the bastion ring uh, we've seen that in the immortal codex as well right if you enjoy um, stuff like cool cosmetic stuff you should definitely go for the new blue chat bubble right you should definitely keep an eye out for the um, rare summoning crystals that they have and the epic skill shards because alongside the legendary skill shards these are also pretty hard to come by so that should be it we also are approaching the later stages of the time limited hero fusion event which is the crowder fusion uh, in case you don't know you need to actually get some uh, go grants and use the go grants into getting dragas and after you get four dragas use those to get one crowder that's the gist of it we are approaching the later stage of this event do not forget to finish the La lost legacy so clear gear raid ones as quickly as possible and as much as possible and complete duel of champions which is going to be ending today which is also going to provide you some with some extra go grants afterwards since tomorrow is going to be the last day of the lost legacy you can use all that useless gear that you got from the lost legacy sell it for gold and use that gold to upgrade the gear for the tales of the smith event which is also going to provide you with some go grants and help you with the with progressing towards the crowdor fusion and starting on friday we'll have the brave conquest and the spiritual altar right to go with so then lucky roulette and seven day sign in as i mentioned finishes today lucky roulette finishes tomorrow nothing too crazy there but let's go up towards the more interesting stuff right so as you can see over here in the event tab we have some pretty interesting stuff to look at we have the crazy invocation of spirits and crazy divine summoning which are both going to be increasing the drop rate of legendary heroes by two times which is always good right and um, usually i like to save my summons for actually a banner that is going to be giving us a new hero or a good legendary hero and that's actually going to happen this sunday but more on that a little bit later then we have the surprise invocation of spirits which is actually one of the best banners that we can get especially as an early free to play account because this is going to provide each and every one of us that actually get a legendary through this banner with an extra legendary hero which is amazing especially for new accounts because as a new account you want a populator account you want to grow your account with, with as many legendaries as possible and as many good legendaries as possible but since we cannot control what legendaries we get we take the chances of getting a legendary either way 
So Surprise Invocation of Spirits is going to be very good. It's not a should you summon video, I'm gonna probably create that one tomorrow, but this is mostly an informative video so you guys know what's to come and what is ending because this is basically the gist of weekly reset right special invocation of spirits over here which is going to be a reintroduction of Halloween and an eye in a single banner so Halloween, one of the best healers in the game if not the best healer in the game she is amazing she provides a lot of rage regen so in case you don't know you put Halloween down on the map and she recovers at level 1 1% 1 rage every 5 seconds for all allies on the map regardless if they are in her healing rage or not so this is amazing at uh, level 5 you actually get 3% rage for every 3 seconds which is insane it's amazing and besides that she's also an amazing healer herself she does AOE healing and she also provides a quite interesting passive called Elf of Forest which I think Elf of the Forest would have made more sense but more sense but either way summons one wood elf that heals surrounding allies every 0.5 seconds with a 100% healing multiplier for 10 seconds only one wood elf can be present on the field at any given time so in case you don't know that the way this looks is actually going to be you place Halloween down somewhere so let's say three heroes are in range uh, one of them is one of your defenders and you want to place another defender to protect a second crystal on the other side of the map you can actually place that wood elf over there and that wood elf is, is going to provide a lot of healing for 10 seconds through everyone around him so that's pretty good she also is an attack based healer which is quite nice because attack bonus is rather easy to come by so yeah a great hero all around it's going to be quite a nice weekend so myself i'm not going to summon because i already have halloween i've been lucky enough to get the skill up of her nature's favor to the maximum first so i don't even need to skill her up more but if you want to go for her awakenings her awakenings are pretty decent awakening one after using grace of nature reduces damage taken by 20 percent for 10 seconds so that's quite nice awaken two typical 300 extra attack is going to provide some extra healing right awaken three each basic attack launches at each basic attack launched has a 20 percent chance to dispel debuffs from allies another reason Halloween is actually a very good healer or support hero healer hero in the game is because after using her ultimate she also dispels any harmful debuffs on your heroes so that's especially good in void rift uh, that's especially good in a lot of content where your heroes are taking damage over time so or any other debuff like um, reduced armor or something like that and this awakening awaken 3 is going to provide a 20 percent chance to dispel allies debuffs from allies without actually using her ult so that's quite cool awaken 4 rage regen aura plus one pretty standard and awaken 5 obtain a wood elf immediately after using grace of nature so in case you don't know wood elf resets once every few seconds so you don't you don't have him on the ground or on the field all the time it lasts for 10 seconds and every every seconds or so it regenerates and you can place him back up again but you do not have to wait to place him back again since you have awakened five and every time you use her ult you get a wood elf as well so that's pretty nice so again i'm not gonna summon because i have halloween i have what i need from her i don't think i need any awakenings for halloween especially since i'm not a whale or a spender i don't i want to spend my resources as wisely as possible but i really do think that some pretty interesting banners are going to come in the future because we haven't received a new spicy interesting legendary hero new legendary hero uh, ever since the last banner right so i think i will wait for some uh, interesting stuff coming up in the future and uh, i've done that with the ancients as well i have some quite uh, i've amounted to some quite uh, large number of 
ancient summoning crystals i have 127 i'm going to save some more for the eye of our banner or Praetor's banner remains to be seen what i want to choose between them and uh, i'll do the same with my rare summoning crystals because they are not a lot either way i have 142 and uh, 10,000 diamonds but i am 196 summons into pity so whatever comes next i'm going to receive rather easily and possibly get another copy of it so i'm going to wait for something spicier in the future if you don't have halloween might as well go for her but again this is not a summoning video this is just a weekly reset information in which you guys see what's coming what has ended and what might be coming so i hope this video was helpful this has been andy event horizon gaming do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe do not forget to comment i read every single comment that i see and i respond to every single comment that i see thank you for watching see you guys